Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn about a Postgre open source tool, which is known as PG Badger. So if you can see, uh, it's it's a Postgre SQL log analyzer tool. So we are going to directly see a demo about it. And uh, as usual, I have recorded everything in a notepad and we are going to see the step by step installation as well as uh, what is this PG Badger uh, all about. So as you can see that uh, PG Badger is, as mentioned on the screen, that PG Badger is a log uh, analysis tool. And I give you a scenario wherein I have a lot of log files which are available on my system because my system PostgreSQL server is uh, very busy and a lot of read, write and other operations are happening. There are a lot of vacuuming and other processes are hap happening in my database. And uh, on the daily basis, I wanted to see what has happened in my database. I want to analyze the log files and see what is the health of my database, how it is, how it is doing. So to analyze uh, the log files, we have uh, an open source tool which is called as PG Badger. So PG Badger is a Postgre performance analyzer which is built for speed and it can generate the HTML reports based on the log files which are up, uh, available on your system. And if I if I uh, show you a, a report which I generated yesterday, so the BG Badger tool which appear like this. So I have uh, generated this report on my Linux system where Postgre uh, 13 is running, and I have copied in my local Windows system, and I just did uh, uh, open with uh, uh, with Google Chrome, and you can see how it is looking. So this is the look and feel of the PG Badger tool, which is an uh, open source tool which can read all the log files and generate a report for you in HTML format with a lot of informations like the SQL statistics, connections, it, it gives you the detail about the sessions, checkpoint, uh, temporary files, vacuums, logs, queries, uh, the details about the uh, tops and the different events. So this is just basic. Now let's go back and see what is this PG Badger tool. This is an open source tool which can be configured and installed on your, your server. And this can be scheduled as a cron job or in your scheduler so that on daily basis it is going to pick up the log files. If you provide the location, it then it can uh, pick up the details from there and on it can generate an incremental report also so that every morning when you you start your day with the postgre sql you can analyze the report like how my postgre server was doing uh, in in last 24 hours in last one week last one month two months or something like that so this is the definition of postgre log analyzer tool this is an open source tool which is fast Postgre log analysis report generation program and this is written in uh, Perl and it is a tool for Postgre SQL log analyzer and what it does it reads the uh, the log from running Postgre SQL uh, instance and it can report and process an HTML report. The report is very, very good looking. It is in the graphical mode. Uh, you can draw the graphs, you can present it. So whomsoever you wanted to show the performance of the database and then, then it is going to help you a lot. If we talk about the feature of PG Badger, so PG Badger, uh, it, it, it gives you the details about the SQL query. It gives you the detail about the statistics. Uh, the queries which are uh, mostly in the waiting state, the queries which waits the most. It gives you the details about the, the queries which are generating most temporary files, which are generating the largest temporary files. It gives you the detail about the slowest query. It gives you the, uh, the query which is taking most time, the, the query which is frequently executing. So you talk about uh, almost any scenario you are going to get the details about it 
you can see the details about those statistics also which are uh, directly uh, related to the performance of your PostgreSQL whether it is the checkpointing whether it is about the vacuuming whether it's about the queries which are getting cancelled it's about the events which are very very critical for your database like panic situation fatal error and warning so those things will be be also listed in this your uh, uh, PG Badger report which is HTML report you can see some more details and when we see it we will will review like what all these since I have an, uh, a uh, non-production database, it is my demo environment, so there is no load in this, so you won't be able to see. But there are a lot of sections under which uh, there are a lot of sections under which you will be able to see the different things. So it is all about the uh, request throughput, uh, the sessions per users. You can see the connection details and a lot of other things. Uh, when we have talked about the background and how it is going to to help to us the one of the greatest thing is uh, when you have to set up the postgresql it is very very easy to set up and uh, to e uh, to set up the postgresql the first thing is your postgresql.conf uh, the configuration file should have the minimum requirement so that it can generate those values which will be uh, be available in your log file and it can read it from there so one of the thing will be log line prefix if you wanted to um, in the previous session we have seen the the format of the log file by default it is in uh, stderr so if you wanted to make it to csv log or uh, or in your syslog so they all are available but by default this is stder and if you wanted to put in some particular format for the log file that's also possible but we are not going to change it we are going to see those details which are mandatory for postgresql conf so that it can capture the minimum information so that it can generate the report so one is log checkpoint you have to turn it on you have to uh, the second parameter is log underscore connection equal to on. Third is log underscore disconnection. You have to turn it on. Log underscore uh, log wait on. Log underscore temp underscore files equal to zero. You have to uh, log auto vacuum minimum duration equal to zero. Then log error verbosity. That means uh, the messages you wanted to see, log statement off and log minimum duration statement equal to 10. Uh, that means anything which is uh, uh, running above 10 milliseconds that will be visible to you. All right. So uh, how do we go about it? Since I have uh, done it yesterday, but I wanted to show uh, how actually it is done. The first thing which you do is uh, you have to install the Perl on your system using yum install hyphen y Perl and Perl devil. So because this is run, uh, uh, this program is run in Perl. So make sure you have it. And uh, we are going to uh, uh, run this, uh, download this from the uh, the installation package. So it is available. Either you uh, do it from the GitHub or you can directly install it from uh, from the source code. Since it is, I'm um, I'm running it on RHEL. So these are the commands which I had followed. The first thing which I did is uh, sudo yum install wget because by default on my EC2 instance this was not enabled. So when you do this, uh, this will show you like whether it is installed or not. For me, it is already installed yesterday, so this is going to work. You have to. Um, install the uh, git as well since i have already executed yesterday so i'm not going to repeat it then you have to get the tar file the current version of uh, of pg Badger is 11.6 so what it is going to do it is going to download this into your default directory and uh, then you uh, what do you do you untar it so once you untar it you will see something like pg badger 11.6 and then you compile it so you just uh, do the perl make file.pl and just uh, run this finally you will be able to see pg badger so let me see sudo su space minus uh, postgre if you do it like this 
and uh, if you see the PG Badger, you will be able to see the latest version. So this is something which I had installed yesterday. This is 11.6. And how do we uh, make the changes? What are the minimum information that we need to make the changes? So these are the normal settings which we need to put into our PostgreSQL.com file. There may be some side effects depending upon what these are going to do. So you have to ensure you have to ensure that you have to ensure that uh, they you uh, you understand the uh, the uh, effects of effects of these files. So uh, uh, what I did it is I used this uh, alter system set and then I had rebooted it. So let me show you if I say PSQL and uh, if I see this detail show log underscore prefix you can see that it is it has been changed and if you say show log underscore connection uh, this has been turned on if you say show log uh, underscore connections it is it is turned on and if you say log disconnection it has been turned on so these are the requirements which i have uh, enabled for this uh, 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 report to execute and uh, prepare an html remote and then you have to check for all these so what i did is i made the command and then i executed all of them um, at once and finally what I did it I'll just uh, I restarted it because these are the parameters which requires postgresql-13 this is let's check the status you can see that they, uh, now it is up and running now I'm switching back to the Postgre user who is the service account owner. And now what we are going to do is to generate the report what we have to do. You say PG Badger and you give the location of the log file. So how do you find the location of the log file? Generally if you have not changed it, if you go to your data directory. So if you simply do uh, CD dollar PG data, then there is a a directory called log so if you see cd dot log cd dot log you will be able to see the log file and you can see uh, the uh, the log file which is uh, which is generated for today it is friday so it is postgresql hyphen friday dot log file is generated so what i have done is so using this if you simply fire this command if you simplify this command for Thursday, you just have to replace it with your log file. So if you simply execute this, you can see uh, it is it is going to generate the record. Generating HTML record and that's it. It is very, very fast. It is going to scan all the log files. In our case, it is very, very small. Minimum information is there. Even if it is a big file also, it is going to read all of them and it is going to display the details in a very short time. Now what we have to do is, in case you want, don't want to give the specific name, then just you mention the, the location and the extension and it is going to do it for you. And one of the most important part of this is, this is how we are going to generate it. PG Badger then you have to give the complete location of your log log file so it is uh, till here it is data directory then log then my log file name is postgresql hyphen if you see saturday wednesday thursday friday so i have given a star hyphen o i wanted to give the location and then the name of the file which it is going to generate so if i just you just press enter it is going to uh, 
generate the report based on all the log files in my system so some five six files are there it is going to generate based on on all of them and finally once it is uh, available you can uh, transfer it to your operating system uh, windows and then you can open it with uh, with your uh, explorer so uh, this is how i have done it yesterday and i have uh, so if you click this so I, I generated it yesterday and if you see the first part which is global stat if you click global stat it is going to show you the details like queries duration events and those things and in overview if you see the SQL traffic it is going to show you the SQL traffic queries per second it is going to show you select queries it is going to show you write queries it is going to show you average query duration it is going to show you bind versus prepare statement and then you have to, it it will show you the overall status over here then about the connections also which is very very important in postgres so you it will you will be able to see the connections which are established so connections per second uh, connections per database how many connections are happening to a particular database connections per user the user has made how many connections connections per host and this way it is going to display the information about you in the sessions also you, you will be able to see a lot of information number of sessions and uh, histogram of sessions sessions per database sessions per user sessions per host so it is going to the finer details if you see the checkpoint also the checkpoint buffers checkpoint files checkpoint distance checkpoint activity it is going to show you all of them by just looking at these uh, these files because in in our case there was no such information that's why it is not displaying any data but in production environment or the environment which where you are working it will be able to show you a lot of information then there is a uh, temp file uh, you will be able to size number temporary query generated and this helps in in detailing like what should be our next course of action is there any anything which we uh, require in advance to address the issue which may occur in uh, future you can have the details about the back vacuum as well what are the vacuum activities happening analyze per tables vacuum per table so this is going to be very very important tuples removed pages removed so these are very very important locking they 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 help in finding out the issues with the queries if locking is creating slowness or something like that you can have the details about the queries queries by type by database user host application number of cancelled queries in top you can have these information like slowest individual query time consuming query most frequent queries then time consuming prepare time consuming uh, binds events also you will be able to see log events logs per type so uh, are there any anything which is fatal so if you can see there are just uh, seven percent which is uh, fatal and uh, if you say error they are eleven percent if they are just statements so that is also listed over here so whatever you think uh, they the most of the information is available over here and it really helps when you uh, when you try to troubleshoot because it gives a complete bible of the information about your postgresql and one of the greatest thing about this is you can analyze it and finally what you can do it you can put it in the cron tab something like this this is my pg badger location i wanted to scan all the log files which are generated at this and uh, here i wanted to place it so uh, this is going to generate a report for you if you wanted to give some name you can give some name as well and this is going to really helpful for you and when you schedule it uh, you don't have to repeat the generation of the report so every morning or every time you come you can review your report and this is really going to be helpful so just to recap pg uh, 
Badger is a log analyzer tool. It can scan all the log files of your PostgreSQL provided the location and it is going to read all the formats and it can generate an HTML report which is easy to review and uh, get some insight out of it. I hope this is going to help and thank you.